First tonight, a Derby car mechanic's trapped in Afghanistan after failing to get an evacuation flight. The man we're calling Amjad spent the last five days at one of the entrances to the airport, which was targeted in today's blast. He told us he wasn't going back there today because it was so unsafe. Well, our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Balls hit. Jeremy, this is a terrifying situation. Oh, it is. I mean, terrifying enough, Emily, even before today's explosion. But it looks as though Amjad's decision today could well have saved his life. Now, Amjad's 32. Uh, we've changed his name to protect his family. He's a British citizen, but he was out in Afghanistan uh, to bring his Afghan wife and children back to Derby. And after I got through to him this morning, he sent me this phone footage he'd taken. Uh, this is at the British security gate where they'd been told to go for an evacuation flight. Uh, Amjad had showed his British passport and an invitation email, but he says he spent five days there. His name was never called, though, and that meant he couldn't get in. And Amjad says he's one of at least 30 Afghans with British citizenship who've been stuck at that gate for several days. And he also told me what happened yesterday when the Taliban told them to leave the airport. Suddenly they start uh, firing. Yeah. Firing. Small kids, everyone is crying. I'm run away. We are run away as well. They are very worried about it. It's horrible. Too much. Do you think you're going to make it back to Derby? No, uh, I don't think maybe it's going to uh, go back. No, how can I not scared? This is a horrible moment. I want to save my children. But I can't. I try, try, try. And details are still coming in about that attack. Jeremy, what's the latest? It looks like two separate explosions at the gates to the airport, one of them exactly where Amjad was waiting this week. There was gunfire too. That's a classic tactic in these situations. Now, the latest reports suggest uh, at least 13 lives have been lost. The Ministry of Defence says none of those were British soldiers or government officials. And we've heard tonight that a family from Radford in Nottingham was caught up in that attack. They've been in touch with their local MP. An email pinged up on my uh, computer from him to say that they were uh, safe and well, but they had been literally uh, metres uh, away from this uh, blast. So obviously a huge sense of relief um, that they are alive and well, but still um, we need to work to try and uh, to get them into the evacuation handling centre and home and safe. Now, Lillian Greenwood also told me she's been in touch with two other Nottingham families who did make it into the airport today. A third family from Nottingham, uh, I heard, landed safely in Dubai this morning. And this evening, I texted Amjad, the man from Derby, to check that he's safe. Just within the last half hour or so, I've had a text back to say he had a lucky escape. Oh, that's fantastic news. Thanks very much, Jeremy.